Aliens, UFOs and all sorts. It's all kicking off so far over in the UFO space. We've got everything from videos from especially the solar eclipse that happened not too long ago. We've got all the things coming out about, um, you know, well, today I just uploaded a video regarding um, the CIA apparently doing... Uh, some spooky stuff with your DNA and apparently there being links with alien DNA and we're going to be diving into all of it today. Um, so the first thing that we're going to look at is some footage that I have found um, over the past kind of couple of days. We're going to review it, talk about it, take a little gander and see uh, see what see what the score is really. Um, so shout out to everyone in the chat. Hello Haley, how are you doing? Anyway, let's take a little look at some of this um, footage first of all. So this one was a video from, um, I believe it was a SpaceX launch, another one. Yeah, if you can believe that. So uh, we got SpaceX launches. Well, some For some reason, whenever there's a SpaceX launch or a UFO launch or something like that, it's just, well, it's just pretty wild. It's There's always something floating about. Uh Now, I think that that could potentially be anything. Um, right now, you know, it could be a comet, it could be space debris, it could be, I mean, from the launch, obviously you get the boosters that kind of shoot off. So it could be any of those things. So we'll take another little look. We'll turn the sound off because that was obnoxiously loud. Um, but you can definitely see that there's something here, something weird, something fishy, something odd, some would say. Yeah, for sure. I don't know though. I'm 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 on my skeptical side about this one. So, what do you guys think? What's am I am I right to be skeptical about this one? Should I be skeptical about this one? Is it just space debris? Is it the boosters shooting off? Is it just nothing at all? Let me know. What do you think? Oh, we've got um we've got a French French um comment hang on i need to just double check on that bad boy um control c I'm just gonna put it in google translate bear with me because my my french is um non-existent right enter text they said no why are we going from french to french no i need to go from french to english bear with me english Thank you for uploading this entertaining, exciting, and fascinating live video at the same time. Ah, oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for coming over. Um, yeah, the video quality is not that great. Um, I can't lie. You are absolutely right on that one. But I guess beggars can't be choosers. Anyway, we're going to move on to the next clip that I have discovered, which is this one right here. Now, this one, I think most people have probably seen this one. It's the Oklahoma City UFO, um, which... Um, I mean, I don't know, it, it's it got some, you know, hit and miss kind of ideas about it, but... Now, I don't know exactly what this is. I've seen a comment about SpaceX. Of, um, I mean, when this video came out, it was all about, like, apparently that was the booster shooting off, and that's what um, people were saying. Um, uh, but I'm not convinced. I've got a feeling that this is something a little bit different, because if we take a little look at it again, this halo thing here, that's what, like, threw everyone off. 
But apparently that was a booster jettison, jettis, jettisoning, jettisoning off. I don't know. Hello, everyone in the chat. Shout out to everyone. I've seen Life is Awesome. Hello from Alaska. Hello. I've seen uh, Hello from Panama. Hello. Your final financial fundamental. Sorry. I haven't seen you in ages. How are you? Definitely not normal, but... Um, it's really bad footage considering the phones we uh, that the phones are capable of. Absolutely. I mean, the footage is absolutely not the greatest. Yeah, I don't know. I think the jury's still out on this one. I don't think we've actually had anything concrete or significant or, you know, definite regarding this one. It's, um, you know, it's by far not at all oops it's not it's by far not at all um con confirmed denied anything like that really so you know we're gonna move into the next one um we're gonna look at this clip right here which comes from a, a military pilot so let me share my screen it says military reports warn of an increase in encounters with strange aerial objects in the usa Pilots of US Army fighter jets are reporting a large increase in aerial encounters with these devices. The recent investigation um, by the US Congress into possible concealment by the Pentagon of organic remains uh, and non-human ships has finished opening Pandora's box um, of a topic that only that had only been taboo for a long time. Now, a new investigation has added fuel to the fire by bringing to light new reports from US aviation fighter pilots that report numerous encounters with FANI, basically UAPs, uh, all occurring at air combat training fields, military. These reports belong to an American Federal Aviation Administration, although the specialized media, the war zone, uh, has obtained Others from U.S. Air Force Safety Center that add even more details. The reports have been prepared over a period of three years and indicate an enormous frequency of encounters with FANIs, the term now used to replace the acronym UFO. So um, I find it kind of funny that FANI is, um, is the new acronym for UFO um, because I'm a child. Anyway, we're going to take a look at this uh, UFO footage. Let's take a look. <laughs> Now, obviously, short clip, short and sweet. Um, but what's interesting is, obviously, there's acknowledgement of it, whatever it is, if we watch it again without the sound. Definitely acknowledgement of it, this, like, tic-tac thing. And then, obviously, it, I'm on the fence. It's, it, it could well be um, CGI, you know, generated. But when you look at it, it there's he reacts to it, which makes it kind of, like plausible almost like especially the way that it just jettisons up into the sky um without a doubt strange stuff going on there but what do you guys think let me know down in the down in the chat um i'm going to be reading the chat as we go through so to kind of keep it balanced because obviously i don't have a clue what i'm talking about half the time and you guys do so that's just how we work um, but I'm going to get the next clip prepared. Hey, Nikki Johnson just became a member. Shout out to Nikki Johnson. How, uh, what, what a hero. Thank you for becoming a member. You absolute bloody legend. Um, anyway, on to the next one. So let's take a little look. It's here. Um, the reason the military are getting involved now is because UFO and military jets are now having near misses, which wasn't happening before. Yes. I mean, we watched that video in the last stream where um, I can't remember who was talking about it now, but they, there was like this zigzag kind of thing going on. And then there was almost like a collision between the jet and the UFO. And then the UFO just went doink and then just shot off in a different direction. It's crazy what's going on out there. Anyway. Um, on to the next clip. So this one was actually captured pretty cool. Um, it was captured by, um, someone's like home security door camera. So it was like a ring doorbell, obviously, as you can tell, oh, you can't tell because my fat head is in the way, um, a ring doorbell and well, they captured this. <laughs> Ah, 
that's weird, isn't it? It's weird. I mean, what could be flying that low, hitting that kind of sharp turn, and travelling at that speed? It's obviously got to be a UFO, surely. I mean, I've watched this countless times to try and understand it. And... Oh, actually, there's a good point here made in the comments. A spider web with water drops on it. What's the kind of response in the comments? Probably, but the symmetry indicates that it's not water drops. It's most likely a reflection of infrared LEDs on the spider's web. Oh, interesting. I never thought of that um, plausible and like possibility that it could be um, a spider's web or whatever. I, uh, I, My mind jumps obviously straight to UFOs because... I'm uneducated on this topic. Um, but I think that actually makes a lot more sense when I think about it logically. Those are just lights. Yeah, it could just be lights, to be fair. Um, right, this one's really weird. So I'm going to show you this one. So this was caught by a person with, who recorded a strange, large, uh, completely static... Oh, large object, sorry. Completely static in the sky over Osaka. Uh, in Japan uh, from this vehicle on November 2023. What do you think about it? Let's take a little gander. Any ideas what that could possibly be? It gives off CGI, um, CGI vibes, but also just looking at the way that it kind of passes through this um, telephone line, that would screw up the CGI big time, surely. So I don't know. I don't think it could be CGI. What's the comments saying? Um... nothing no one's no one's got an idea apart from it being a cheeto or a carrot i mean iron man i've seen iron man in the comments <laughs> oh is there, there's always something we've always got something any ideas because i'm stumped with that one um but while you conflab about that down in the comments i'm gonna get the next video set up which was uh Captured by a plane spotter, which is interesting. Well, it could be a balloon, Samantha. It could be um, wires. Wires go behind the wires. Wires go behind the wires. What do you mean wires go behind the wires? Let's take another little gander. Wires go behind the wires. I'm confused. What do you mean wires go behind the wires? I'm lost because which wires are we talking about? These ones? These ones? These ones? An air balloon? It's... Yeah, it could be an air balloon, potentially. I don't know. Right. Wires go behind the red object. Oh, I see. Do they know? Oh, they do. Good spot. Yeah, they definitely do. Yep. Yeah. CGI. CGI. Right. Next one is this clip right here, which, it, like I said, was captured by a plane spotter. A very fast moving UFO accidentally captured by a plane spotter in Doncaster Airport, UK. Let's take a little look at this. There's no sound to this one. Any ideas? Full speed is invisible to the eye. Oh, it is. Oh, so it must have been shifting. That's been slowed right down for us to be able to see it. Look how slow it has to be. Like, look how slow the plane's moving for that to be visible. Uh, 
And then when it's sped up, a dragonfly. How big are the dragonflies that you've been seeing? It goes behind the plane. Let's have a little look. I'm pretty sure it shoots behind the plane. Oh, no, it goes to go in front of it, actually. It could be a dragonfly, then. Possible. I'm definitely leaning towards UFO on this one, though. No denying that. Without a doubt, I'm leaning towards uh, UFO on that bad boy. Right. Some kind of insect. Well, I did some research, right, recently. And the fastest insect is actually a dragonfly. And I know this because I only researched it yesterday. And I was doing it for a video. So the, the a dragonfly moves at like a, uh, 35 mile an hour. And it's the fastest insect on the planet. Um... Too early for dragonflies. I don't know if this was recorded. Like, I don't. It doesn't actually say um, when this was recorded, so I can't, you know, speculate about seasons and all the rest of it. But yeah, dragonflies are rapid. Thirty-five mile an hour. Those bad boys move. They're almost as fast as me. Not not faster than me though, obviously, because I'm obviously faster than a dragonfly going thirty-five mile an hour. Um, Mister Nice, thank you very much. Said this video is interesting. It is very interesting. Right, let's see what else we can um, have a little gander about. So, oh, this is actually interesting. So, let me pull it up on your screen. So, this has been posted by James Fox on his Twitter. Now, if you don't know who James Fox is, he creates all sorts of um, documentaries. Uh, I don't want to get this wrong, so I'm just going to Google James Fox... Um, series is TV series no this is not the James Fox that I was thinking of um, he made like encounters the first kind and all the rest of it um, but he's got a new documentary coming out I believe it is this um, this summer don't quote me on that but I'm pretty certain it is this summer and he posted this on um, April 1st or April 2nd to his Twitter page and it said, Unlike April Fool's, this individual is real and will be f uh, featured in the programme for the first... Oh, that, that's what the series is called, by the way, the programme. For the first time regarding cap uh, certain legacy programmes. And this is a brand new whistleblower. Never before seen. Never... Um, you know, never come forward before. And this is the first time he's like you know talking about things this is this is pretty spooky stuff and i'm intrigued to see what he discloses on his um on his on his show because you know it's going to be something juicy it's whenever a whistleblower comes forward it's always something a bit saucy um but yeah i've actually seen as well let me see if i can find it on this page I'm, i have no doubt that they've got it but um I found that there was an, another UFO apparently captured during the solar eclipse. I'm not going to be able to find it now, am I? But it was so, it was really weird. Did anyone, anyone in the chat, did you go to, um, did you see the solar eclipse if you're in the States? Did you <laughs> notice anything weird? Heard about the whistleblower and I'm excited about it. Yes, Mr. Nice, so am I. I saw it on, um, well, First drew my attention on um, Vetted, the YouTube channel Vetted. If you guys haven't seen Vetted's YouTube channel, definitely go and give it a look. But uh, let me see if I can pull it up. Maybe we can take a little look together and see what he knows because he's quite up to date with uh, this kind of UFO shenanigans and stuff. Now I can't find the YouTube channel. Brilliant. Bear with me. That's a Congress office building, hallway, yes. Nice. This, it's definitely some kind of congressional building, isn't it? Uh, right, let me see if I can find... Um, vetted. Now, I'm not going to watch the whole video because I you know, want to main, maintain the integrity of Vetted's YouTube channel, but I do love this channel. I'm actually doing a video with him tomorrow, filming a couple of things with him. So here it is, if you haven't seen this YouTube channel. Dale Boy, this is definitely one for you to check out. Uh, the Vetted Podcast... Uh, he's only on 20,000 subscribers, which does feel quite criminal. He, I feel like this guy absolutely deserves to be on a lot more. Um, looking buff. No, 
Res Nations. Unfortunately, I don't feel buff. I'm just fat at the minute. Um, I literally sit in this chair, go downstairs, eat, come back, sit in this chair, go back downstairs, eat more, come back, sit in this chair. Literally, that's my my life at the minute. Um, but I will be hopefully hitting the gym very soon. But anyway, uh, it's where is it? It is here. So great updates. You have. We're going to take a little look at this. Hey, we've got a super, first super chat of the night from Shadow Warrior with the two oil. Uh, he said, how did you get into UFO? I've always been interested in UFOs and aliens. I've never really publicly spoken about it, but, you know, I did make a video when David Grush blew the whistle a little while ago, but he, um, but, you know, I've always kind of followed it in the background. Never, like, you know, done it for, as, as on, on YouTube or anything, but... Um, when the whole Miami Mall thing kicked off, I got really like invested in that and people loved the videos. Um, so I just kept making more and then my channel li literally like completely converted into an alien channel and that's just where, that's just where I'm at. But thank you so much for the super chat, you absolute bloody legend. Look at you standing out in that comment section of that blight, bl blight blue, bright blue, um, thing. Right. Let's get into this video. Here we are. War pep trick. UFO filmmaker James Fox, with such hits as The Phenomenon and Moment of Contact, has a brand new documentary coming out this summer. It's titled The Program. It's another deep dive into the UFO topic, and I can't wait for that documentary to come out. Now, he just tweeted out a screenshot of a whistleblower that's going to be featured in this documentary. We're going to take a closer look at that and who this person is. Now, that um, was obviously the, the photo that I just showed. I've also got another clip from the documentary that he released on Twitter that kind of showcases, again, a little bit more about what to expect in this documentary. So let's dive in, y'all. Basically, some great updates for James Fox's new documentary. If you're new to the channel, y'all, and you like content like this, please hit that subscribe button. We put out a new video every day, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. I do not miss a day. Please hit that like button, betters. That really helps out the videos. So thank y'all so much for the support there. And of course, comment down below. What do you think about this military X person who's featured, this whistleblower, and this new clip that I showed? Rather interesting. Let's dive in. All right, first thing we're going to do is, uh, well, first thing I'm going to say is watch out if you're watching that eclipse today. That's what I'm going to be doing. Anyway. Now, we've obviously seen this tweet. We don't need to dive too deep into that, but I am intrigued about the clip that he is going to be showing. So it's here work to date right uh, but he says right here my old partner the finisher arrives tonight and we will put the final touches on over the next two months and maybe adding another brief interview but if we go further we've got another clip and he says right here it's unbelievable to me how little attention mainstream media is paying to this topic i mean i think he means paying attention to this topic All right so let's play this clip here and you can clearly see he's, you know, James edits, edits it himself. Let's increase transparency on UAPs by you. Let me go back. Let's read that. It says in July 2023, United States Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and South Dakota Senator Mike Rounds co-sponsored the UAP Disclosure Act. Let's increase transparency on UAPs by using a model that works. The UAP Disclosure Act was closely modeled on the JFK Records Act. For the first so uh, if anyone hasn't kind of clocked yet, obviously this is a little tiny segment from the new series that's going to be coming out uh, in, the, in the summer. So, yeah. First time the National Archives will gather records from across the federal government on UAPs and have a legal mandate to release those records to the public if appropriate. This is a major, major win for government transparency on UAPs, and it gives us a strong foundation for more action in the future. And a requirement as a transparency measure for the government to obtain any recovered UAP material or biological remains that may have been provided to private entities in the past and thereby hidden from Congress and the American people. We are lacking oversight opportunities and we are not fulfilling our responsibilities. 
Again, I thank my colleague and pledge to work with him and other bipartisan colleagues in the future to build upon what we've achieved in the conference report. We encourage our colleagues to join us in the further investigation of this issue and in advancing legislation that will complete what we've accomplished in this NDAA. And I yield the floor. Now this is now getting into the juicy bit about this new whistleblower. The following individual has secretly testified to the Senate and House Intelligence Committees. This is the first time going on camera to discuss to discuss the unclassified portion of those meetings. Got to screw that all up. This is the first time going on camera to discuss. Oh, he's got a typo there. Look at that. Discuss. He means discuss the unclassified portion of those meetings. I, I wonder if I should put uh, a comment in there that there's a typo. I'm sure he'll see that. Um, so oh, let me keep this clip going. So I'm assuming, right, he's talking about that guy, right? That guy right there. Who is it, though? Who is it? What does he know? Where does he come from? You know, I'm so intrigued to see what the gig is going to be. Um, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Um, so Del Boy said this is probably because whoever is reverse engineering these graphs are the, uh, are the public sector. And now the government is trying to catch up. Yeah, you, you, you might be right. Uh, there is a gravity field, you are not affected by another gravity. If there is a gravity field, sorry, you're not affected by another gravity. Uh, I've skipped a couple of ads to Jasmine. Oh, has there been ads? People got ads. That's weird. Hey, everyone, I've got a bridge. Um, I've got a bridge. I'll sell you cheap. Interesting. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the, the whole whistleblower situation. Uh, I'm intrigued to see what's going to happen moving forwards with, with this guy because obviously, you know, he knows something, um, but we've just got to wait until the summer to find out what he actually knows. Um, but, yeah, it's a bit bit of a strange one, really. It's like, where where do we where do we go with this information? And by the time this comes out, is it going to be, is it going to be old news? Do you know what I mean? Because the things are... Is it, it like, you know, things are moving so quick. Like I've noticed, I'm constantly chasing my tail. I've got a video prepared for that day and then something new comes out and it's probably more uh, relevant than the video that I've just made. And then, you know, I'm constantly chasing my tail with this kind of stuff. So, you know, who knows? Um, so moving forward, I have found this clip as well, which isn't really alien related, but I thought it was weird enough to kind of share it with you guys. Found it on my, red, on, my, on my Reddit, and it says this disturbing footage is going viral. Some users uh, say it's a secret footage of a cloning facility in Canada. Could these just be masks? Well, we'll be the judge. Weird, isn't it? I mean, it's nothing to do with aliens whatsoever, but it is still absolutely weird. Um, right, moving forwards. The Peruvian Ministry of Culture raided the Nazca Mummies press office. A uh, conference, sorry. The most wild press conference in the history of Peru happened yesterday. I attended the press event in Lima in anticipation to see a brand new Nazca mummy. There was a rumor that this mummy was pregnant with a fetus inside of it. And sure enough, we were shown scans of what looked like a fetus inside of this mummy. If you're unaware of what the Nazca mummies are, watch my documentary, Show Me the Mummies, on YouTube. I spoke with famous Mexican journalist and UFO enthusiast Jaime Mousen before the event. Well, for the first time, we had very important scientists 
that came from the US. When now, this guy has obviously got a bit of a sketchy history when it comes to proving aliens and UFOs, but uh, I don't know. Um, you know, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Dr. Jordan McDowell, who won the Gasford Medallion, who is achieved just by those who have had exceptional achievements in the field of forensic science. Then he made an investigation on these bodies and he concluded with his team that the bodies are genuine, that the bodies are tridactyls, that they didn't find uh, anything that resembles some kind of uh, cuts or anything that is that could not be considered natural. Now, obviously, Mr. Morrison is going to say this because, um, you know, it's his finding, his presentation, his, you know, he's not going to say, oh, yeah, they found nothing about it and it was paper mache um, like the other ones were, you know. So obviously there's you got to take what he says with a bit of a pinch of salt. Um, but it is, you know, it's still interesting nonetheless. Um, but kind of moving, moving onwards a little bit. What we got in the chat? Um Oh, so that video I showed about the, the, the cl supposed cloning facility, everyone's talking about it being sex dolls. So that's great. I'm glad that I'm glad that we're all here for that. <laughs> um, what else is going on in the chat? He tried to pull this stunt seven years ago. Uh, yeah, he did. Actually, he did try and um, pull this in the about seven years ago and it fell flat then. Then he did it last year during the, um, the whistleblower thing with David Grush. And it, you know, it got it got a buzz for sure. Probably one of the biggest buzzes he's had so far. And then it fell flat. And then he's got he's gone and done it again. He's done it again. He's done it again. Oh, Mr. Morrison, he's done it again. Um, so where is what I wanted to show you guys? What else we got? Oh. So we've got uh, some, we got some footage, no, well, not footage. We have got some snaps from the eclipse right here. So, um, someone literally just said, "What did I snap photos of during the eclipse?" So we're gonna take a little look. So we got this. That's obviously. Oh, I see. So that's there, and there's the eclipse, and then it moves to there. Is it not just an airliner? Is that not just an airplane? Like, it's giving off airplane vibes. You know what I mean? Anyone have any ideas what this could be? I'm going down the route of... Um, I'm going down the route of it potentially being um, an airplane. But that's just me. Right. Yeah, I think here kind of confirms that it's an aeroplane because if you zoom in, that's as far as I can zoom in, there's like these two lights which definitely scream aeroplane, but what do you think? Hey, we got Sally in the, um, in the chat and we've also got Lainey in the chat. What are we saying? Hey, Sally's been a member for 33 months. What's that in years? 12, 24, that's almost three years. Oh my goodness! Almost three years. Delboy said, "Did you get my video? Uh, sorry, did you get my video? Did you get my message on Discord? I did. I had a read of it, and I haven't had a chance to actually look at it or even respond to it. But he said that it's not pictures of him in his pants. Well, not again. Well, I was disappointed when I opened it and saw that. I was really kind of hoping for a little bit more, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Anyway, let's take another little." Oh, I'm very zoomed in. Let's zoom that straight back. Right, what we got? See, this guy, Vetted, he's just absolutely everywhere. I, I don't know if he posts his own videos in. I need to have a little check, but he's literally, like, he's all over the place. Like, whenever I scroll through Twitter, it's just his videos, his videos being reposted. So he's, like, he's the real deal. It's far better than what he does than what I do. Hey, Shadow Warrior! With another super chat. Bright yellow, this time with the 10 euros. And he says, 
Can you make a Dave and Andy video? How are they doing? Members only. It was interesting stuff. Guys, in the comments, press the like button and subscribe and join the membership. Wow. Thank you so much, first of all, for your super chat. And um, I think, I don't know, maybe, maybe one day there'll be some videos like that again. But right now, I literally just don't have time. Like I said, I literally sit in this chair looking at alien and ufo stuff and then i've got another channel simply said where i pub like you know upload videos about pop culture and all the rest of it and you know it's just i just it's crazy crazy scenes just haven't got the time to create any more content or any more videos right now um but i'm trying to scroll through and see if i can find something um i saw it on reddit the other day Right, here we go. Let me just... There we go. Who else we got in the chat? Hey, Jasmine's been a member for 21 months. So it's been, we need to sort out a Starbucks date with me, you, Apollo, Rick, and Olivia. Yeah, for sure, man. Um, ben, you missed my super chat. What? You sent a super chat? Where? I didn't see you send a super chat. I didn't see your super chat. Right. Right. Let me just flick onto this screen with you guys. So, don't click if you're looking for fun. It will be boring for you. Well, do we click it? Yeah, we click it. Oh, I know about this video. Now, this video has been dubbed, apparently, the best UFO video to ever exist. I mean, do I believe that? No. But I think it's pretty legit. I've seen nothing to disprove it so far. I think this was one of the Pentagon... Um, I know it really upsets people when I say Pentagon. Um, one of the Pentagon released videos. I wish it wasn't in black and white though. I feel like we'd have a lot more context as to what this is if it wasn't this infrared kind of um, thing. I feel like that could just be a plane, if I'm honest, because of the, the state of the camera. I've seen this one before. I don't think this one's been um, disproven yet. But I do like the way that it moves, the way that it kind of like, you know, zips and zaps. Right, I think we've been long enough on this clip. Oh my goodness, it goes on forever. Right, next clip. Looks like it's on some security. What is that? That's weird. That's weird. I mean, it's the same. It's the same thing. He's just kind of scrolling through. Um, right. I have got something that I wanted to do in the last stream, but I completely forgot all about it. Um, but I'm gonna get it to pop up on my um, on my doohingy right here. So uh, where is it? Laney sent it to me ages ago. It was about da 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 da. No, that stuff about the eclipse. Hey, Sally, we sent a super chat saying, "Ben, you missed my super chat. Scroll up." 
I didn't see you send a super chat. I saw someone else send a super chat and that was it. That was legit it. Shadow Warrior sent me a super chat. But there's, I mean, I saw your uh, 33 months as a member, but that's all I've seen. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked now. Uh, right. Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to find it, am I? Damn it. She sent me this thing about Google Earth, right? Maybe I can, like, find it on um, on TikTok. Because, you know, TikTok is a reliable source for information. And if you didn't know that, you're welcome. UFO seen on Google Earth Area 51. Now, basically, you get the coordinates for this strange looking thing, right? And base oh, here it is. Right, we're going to take a look at this because this is weird, right? Now, I'm going to tell you why it's weird. Um, because... So, you've got this thing here, which is obviously, like, it looks like some kind of lagoon, some, some kind, something weird, all right? But, basically, when you look at it, it's got, like, tanks, literal tanks, um, you know, maintaining it. Look at this. So, a few months ago, I seen this TikToker post about this crazy discovery on Google Earth. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go suss it out myself because I couldn't believe it. Anyways, this shit is real, guys. It's located in California, just above Ridgecrest. And as you can see when you scroll in, wait for it, <laughs> getting closer. There is literally like a freaking ship right next to the entry of this like portal to another dimension looking thing. And if you scroll down and like around, you'll see that there's like military tanks everywhere, like guarding this place. So yeah, like it blows my mind. I really want to know what the hell this thing is. Anyways, after days of like searching Ridgecrest into Google Earth from my laptop, I was literally blocked and I wasn't able to type it in anymore. So I found- What's it called? Ridgequest. Let's like do a quick Google Earth together. Earth. Google Earth. Hey, Sally sent another super chat saying I'm doing a paranormal investigation on Monday. Nice. I hope that you have fun. Where are you going? Explore Google Earth. Right. What was it called? Oh, I've, I've forgotten already. After days of like searching Ridgecrest into Google Earth from my lap. Ridgecrest. Ridgecrest. That sounds about right. Right, we're going. Here we go. Here we go. Right, this looks about right. This looks like where she was. So we need to find... It was just north of it, wasn't it? I mean, we can't miss it. It was this big UFO-looking thing. Let me cross-reference with her video. So she went into Ridge Quest. Crest. Right, let me have a look. And as you can see when you scroll in, wait for it. Right, so we're looking for those rocks. Wait, so we go up. The rocks are here. There it is. Look, it's still there. Look at this. Right, you can clearly see a... Well, that looks like a, a boat. It gives off Millennium Falcon vibes. All right. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but this looks like some kind of CERN portal shit, isn't it, going on right now. Um, but if we have a look over here, I wonder if the tanks are still there. They are! No, that's that's not what I was looking for. This is... So, this the video I just watched was from 2022. So, obviously, you know, Google Earth has been updated since then. But I'm not seeing the, the tanks anymore. Let's have a look on her video again. <laughs> Getting closer. There is literally like a freaking ship right next to the entry of this like portal to another dimension looking thing. Ah, and that's if the you ship scroll down and like around. Right, let's scroll down and around and let's see if those tanks are still there. Right, so she was like well zoomed in. So we zoom in. There's the boat that we saw earlier. And then if we scroll down. 
There, there! Look! Tank! Literal tank! Look at that! You can tell because it's got the, the gun, it's got the treads, and it's got the tank bit. I don't know what else you call it. Um, but here is our uh, Millennium Falcon up here. No, where is it? Where are you gone? There it is. But there's this opposite looking one where it looks like they're going to build into a new one. Weird. What we got in the chat? They used to dig uh, a big 400 feet holes and trenches, uh, nuclear weapons and other bombs, etc. in the desert. Hmm. Those nuclear test sites underground became um, verified. I've just seen the correction verified and are used for collecting natural gas. These days, one would think there would be a trace of radiation in that gas. Interesting. That is really interesting, actually. Um, but I'm, I'm I'm amazed that it's still there because this last was like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I dug into it and I was then blocked from being able to go there. Now, do I necessarily believe that it could be a little bit far fetched a little bit? But who knows? Um, I, I, I've never known someone to be blocked from being able to visit a location. Um, but I do remember being in school. And the very first time we were able to use Google Earth and we were taught how to use Google Earth in, in school. Um vitrified Vitri vitrified can i not read laney's like vitrified i don't know what vitrified even means that's how uneducated i am anyway we got gas because we could uh, go to area 51 on um on the school computers and we thought that the like cia were going to come booting through the fbi opened up in the school and uh, because we were searching up um yeah, boring story. I know. I'm, you know, but anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, so we're gonna carry on with this video. So we we've got to the part where the dude was clicking through his security cameras. We're on to the next clip in a minute. Here we go. Initially, I thought this was a plane. My first instinct was a plane. I mean, I got plane vibes from that, but that was kind of weird in the end when the lights were flickering. Let's watch it again. How weird is this? Oh, the TR3B. Maybe. Right. Hey, we got another super chat from Sally. Shout out to Sally. She said, I'm doing my first reaction video tomorrow. Now I'm all set up. Goose Pimples have given me permission to use their video for my first one. Oh, Sally, what's your um, what's your YouTube channel? Send, Put the link in the chat and we'll, um, we'll make sure to uh, share it out and stuff. Ben. Lainey, what are you saying? I'm looking in the chat and she's put Akmod by Akmod, Akmods by Ben. What? I'm so confused. Anyway, <laughs> let's have a look at this next UFO clip. Oh my god, Peter. Oh, Peter. Oh, Peter. Oh, Peter. Oh, This literally looks like a scene out of E.T. How weird. You can hear this like behind the sound of the rain, you can hear like a like a helicopter. So could it be a helicopter? I mean, there's a hell of a lot of lights on it, but... Us. 
definitely gives off a uh, helicopter vibes to me, but. Hey, yo! Hey! I need to use your flashlight off. I didn't see it. Take it, Dave. Hang on. Never mind the UFO. Who's screaming? Someone needs some help. That sounded like there's some kid needed some help. So, uh, look at Turtle's story. Right, let's have a little look. So, looks uh, that looks like a runway top down. Um, where's Turtle? They're onto me. Something behind my window. Now I'm invested. Hang on. Where's Turtle? Lenny and Ben, can you read my abduction experience before I disappear? Yes. Where is your abduction experience before you disappear? Let me know. Right, anyway, while we're waiting for Turtle's story before he disappears, if he hasn't disappeared already, it's taken me a while to acknowledge that. Um, let's take a look at this clip. Let me just talk about something quickly. Imagine... Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh, I've missed it again. Hang on, I will get this. Can we talk about how this, like thing here looks like a skeleton face not being funny but if that if you're walking in the middle of the night and you're trying to find the toilet you don't know where you're going you come across this damn you don't need a toilet no more <laughs> it's gonna be scary as shit hey yo right that's gotta be that tr3b surely that's a TR3B. Look, man. Right, let's cross-reference that bad boy with TR3B. With my Google searches into like all of this stuff, I'm surprised that the men in black haven't come knocking at my door yet. Seriously. I actually think I'm on I'm on some kind of CIA hit list waiting to just be whacked. Anyway, right, look at this. Right, and here. These images. And then look at this. It's the same mother trucking thing look at this tr3b faux show no way that that's not the tr3b come on Bro sounds like he's got a leak that he needs to fix as well, though. I think that should be his priority. Right. I saw this crazy thing today, right? Now, this is a lot. Hey, Sally sent a super chat saying, oh, it was her YouTube link. Right, everyone go and check out this YouTube link. I'm going to pin this if it will allow me to. No, it's not going to let me. Lainey, can you pin that chat to the top of the chat? Um, now, I saw this thing today, which is wild. It is an absolute conspiracy, but you know, there might be something about it. I don't know. I'm not gonna jump to conclusions, but I saw this thing that was like, is the cost of living crisis and alien disclosure linked? Because, and I know that sounds like, what the hell are you on about? Because I saw it and I was like, are you sure? No way, but hear me out. I, I, basically the, the crux of the video was, was that because there's a cost of living crisis and everyone's like incredibly stressed about that, um, 
does that necessarily mean that they're like that if you were to release information about ufos and aliens will people care any like probably people will care less because they've got their own stuff to be dealing with it's like cost of living crisis cost of living crisis cost of living crisis aliens are here cost of living crisis and then no one's like no one will care about the aliens as much because they're too busy trying to deal with their own stuff now it sounds absolutely wild but is it that wild because i know for a fact that if i saw on the six o'clock news right for example i switch on the itv and it goes bills are increasing by one billion percent uh tomorrow and we're also going to have aliens turn up at your door i don't care about the aliens i care about the fact that my bills are going up by a billion percent tomorrow aliens can get out the window they can help me pay my bills they can pay my bills if they're going to come here, they're paying my bills. But it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's a conspiracy. Maybe it's just, you know, completely coincidental. Maybe it's absolutely nothing. Maybe I'm off Morocco. But I just feel like there's something to it when I heard about it. But anyway, let's move on with these clips. I've seen this clip before. And I've seen this clip before. This one was filmed in Brazil, I believe. It was a South American country. It was either Brazil or Colombia. I can't quite remember. Definitely kind of weird. Costa Rica, I've seen them in Costa Rica. Interesting. Seen them in Costa Rica, very nice. I wonder if there's any kind of um, any kind of link there. <laughs> ben, stop sniffing marzipan. It's completely not related. All right, then, if you say so. Oh, that's weird. It's a very clear day. It could just be an insect. You are on a farm. We've heard the cockerel. That could just be an insect, this one. It's hard to see. It's just up here. Right. Oh, this is cool footage. Birds. Right, so we've got that V formation. Classic. Satellites. Okay. I thought like we were about to get something big. Aircraft. What are you? That's a satellite because it's moving in a straight line. No. Yeah, no. Change of direction. Yeah, no. It's not a satellite. Yeah, no, no. That hit a 180. He was like, no. Nope. Not going that way. How weird. Oh, my phone's only got 20% left. Hang on, what's this? Why? Now this, this is prime, what the hell is this? Look at that. UFO in holy texts and a buff duck. He is quackers. <laughs> oh, I love it. Um, right, I'm gonna have to go in a minute because I'm, um, my poor fiance has not eaten yet because she's waiting for me to come back downstairs to eat but 
Ever talk to anyone who has seen the Phoenix Lights? No, I should do that. I should try and find someone who's experienced the Phoenix Lights and see if they will chat with me on the channel about it. You can see these uh, in Pine Gap at night. Interesting. That's also cam. Uh, that's also can be debris bouncing off the atmosphere. Potentially, there's a good potential that that could be the case. Actually, good possibilities there. Um, right. I'm going to be clocking off. I'm going to say goodnight to y'all. But be sure to, if you have enjoyed, obviously, you know what you need to do. Be sure to jump together, hell out of that like button, subscribe if you're new, and tickle my little bell so you get notified whenever we upload. Obviously, we're going to be doing these live streams every Wednesday and Friday at 8 p.m. UK time. So whatever time this stream started in your local time zone, that's when we're going to get started. Me, the alien, and Lainey in the chat. And, um, you know, we're, we're just going to be having a good time and we're going to be doing stuff like this. And if there's, you know, a big UFO story to be talking about, we're going to be diving into that as well, for sure. Um, why fiance and not wife? Because I can't afford to get married. I can't afford to get married. Do you know how expensive getting married is? Stupidly expensive. I'll tell you for, for one, like there's no messing about. Like it's just ridiculous. But, um, anyway. I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you, uh, obviously, you know, jump together, hell out of the like button if you have already. But, you know, speak to you later. Peace. Um, I need to end the stream. <laughs> uh, stop streaming.